Hello, I'm Chaplain Angelica Zolfrank. Welcome to Spirit Matters. Winston Churchill said, plans are useless, but planning is invaluable. When I heard this, I was thinking, wait a minute, what's the difference between plans and planning? And then I was reminded of sitting with a patient whom I will call Jennifer. Jennifer was diagnosed with depression and OCD. Not surprisingly, maybe for several days, she was quite upset about the changing plans for her aftercare. Whenever I met her, I would get the latest. So today they told me that it's not a good idea for me to go home. They say that I have demonstrated over the last three hospitalizations that it's not working out well. I'm trying to adjust to that. And then we talked about the pros and cons about Jennifer's trust in her team and about how she did agree, but just had a hard time wrapping her mind around it. At the end of the visit, she asked me to help her relax into her body and to pray with her. Because ultimately, she said, ultimately it's up to God and I believe God has a plan. A day later, the plan had become clearer I need to decide, I guess, Jennifer said. I don't know what to do. Do I want to go out of state and be in the program that fits me best? Or do I want to stay close to my family, particularly now in this time of the pandemic, and be in a program that maybe doesn't fit me so well? It's hard for me, and they want me to decide. But I'm not that good at making decisions. I go back and forth, she said. Yet another day, Jennifer told me that her brilliant social worker found a program she liked very much. It was close enough to her parents, and yet it was a great fit. I like this plan, but then again, I had already pictured myself in this other program. So now I need to adjust again. I'm actually okay with it, and I appreciate my social worker a lot. At the same time, changing plans is not easy for me. And now I need to adjust again. All I know, however, she said, is that God has a plan. I really believe that. These days, I feel very much like Jennifer. The gym is generally a really good idea for me. But is it a good idea really to go back to the gym? Going to school is key to children's development. But then again, is it worth the risk? And how is it even going to work out practically? Having a family is a wonderful blessing. And yet moms and dads who are working 40 hours a week are having a hard time to adjust their daily schedule and plans to children at home. Plans for vacation are ever changing. And then we don't know, will the virus come back or not? Do I believe that God has a plan? For me, the question that is closer to my heart is how to adapt every day or every week to the constantly changing plans. Nikki Giovanni, poet, activist, and educator, has a beautiful poem. It goes like this. If I can't do what I want to do, then my job is to not do what I don't want to do. It's not the same thing, but it's the best I can do. If I can't have what I want, then my job is to want what I've got and be satisfied that at least there's something more to want. Since I can't go, go where I need to go, then I must go where the signs point, though always understanding parallel movement isn't lateral. And when I can't express what I really feel, I practice feeling what I can express, and none of it is equal, I know. But that's why mankind, alone among the animals, learns to cry. Plans are useless. 
planning is invaluable. In that spirit, I invite you to take a moment and to take a deep breath. Settle into your chair and allow yourself to become loose and flexible. Release the hold of your muscles on your neck, your shoulders, your back, your spine. Take another breath and imagine walking along the ocean, waves washing up onto the sand and receding back towards the ocean, washing up and flowing back down. Enjoy the ever repeating rhythm of the changing waves. Enjoy the breeze cooling your face. And then say to yourself, I welcome the ever changing wave. And in me is a peaceful ocean. I welcome each breeze and wind gust. And my breath is part of an eternal breath. I welcome this moment and in it find the love of life itself. Spirit matters. Join me next time.